it's Sarah, Stitching Sarah here, I hope you're okay. Uh, today is Sunday, March the 18th, 2018. Um, yeah, Sunday afternoon here in the UK. I uh, hope everyone's okay. I um, hope you've managed to get some stitching in the last couple of weeks. Um, since I've seen you, I've got um, some... What have I got? I've got progress, I've got whips, I've got finish, uh, I've got a purchase since last time. I think that's about it. Oh, and the drawing. How exciting. The drawing for the um for my two hundred subscriber giveaway, um, which I'm really, really excited about. Um yeah. So welcome if you've just found me, you've just joined me recently. Um welcome again. Welcome back if you are returning, if you've been here from the beginning. Uh, it's really nice to have you along. Uh, back in a different spot again today. Um, yeah. I was up here doing some um, crafting, some paper crafting, so I thought I would stop and um, do an update. So yes, um, we've had some snow again here in the UK. Um, certainly here in Nottinghamshire, where I am, um, it was, I think the last time I um, filmed about two weeks ago, we had, we were visited by the beast from the east, um, so that all kind of all went away, um, but caused mayhem here, because we're not used to it, we're not used to any snow whatsoever, um, and... So yesterday I was supposed to go down to see my mum uh, for the weekend but um, there was a threat threatening of um, snow again um, here and um, strong winds which we had it's up to I think 40, 45 miles per hour gusts so yeah quite, uh, quite windy here uh, but then we had snow as well um, so my side of the street or our side of the street is had quite a lot of snow because the wind was blowing it over over to us which was great um no snow today um did a shopping order to be delivered this morning but had a text message to say they were not going to be delivering because of the bad weather so we have food we're okay for today but <sighs> I don't know we just seem to stand to come to a standstill with uh, with snow but anyway no rumbles um, so yes so let's crack on with start with progress um, my whips since I see you last um, I am working on This is by Anna Congdon, who is Stitch Rovin. It's a burr sampler. And it's from this magazine. November 2017, Cross Stitch Crazy. And you can see that. Um, I am using all of the called for threads. Um, I'm trying to stitch, get this as complete as possible before the end of April. Um, and then once um, we know the exact date and obviously the name of my niece, then um, I can stitch that in and it will be done. Um, I am stitching this on, I think it's 28 count. I'll put something here. Uh, so this is the fabric. It is by Crafty Kitten. It's an opalescent Lugana and it's in Fairy Garden, I think is the colourway. Um, so this is where I've got to. So I've completed the top portion. Um, oh, I need to. There we go. Hopefully that isn't too washed out. 
put some extra lighting in here because it's starting to go a bit dark. Um, oops. So yes, yeah, so I've completed the complete top portion. Uh, pleased to say that it does fit width-wise. This is always good. My plan is to, I think, I think I'm going to finish this on my canvas. Or... It might go in a frame, but I don't know. We'll see. But my initial thought was a canvas because I thought it would be quite nice. And plus then it didn't matter that I hadn't got too much either side. But it's okay. It's good. So yes, so that's progress on that. Um, next project is, I don't think I've shown this. I, can't, I genuinely can't remember when I started it, so I, I haven't. I can't insert a before picture because um, I don't think I've shown this to you. But it is a Lizzie Kate <clears throat> inspirational boxer. Life isn't about waiting for the storm to pass; it's about learning to dance in the rain. So I'm doing this main piece, and it comes with this extra oops, uh, button, uh, pin cushion design. Which is quite cool, but I'm doing the the main one. Um, bought this as a pack with the charms and the fabric, and I'm stitching this on. The fabric was th is thirty count natural linen. Is what it's being stitched on, and so this is where I'm at. I'm using all the calls for um, colours, but I think I'm going to have some quite a lot left over. Yeah. So, nearly got the top part done. I love Lucy Kate. They stitch it really, really quickly, <clears throat> as you all know. Um. So yeah. So that's. I've worked on another couple of um, smaller projects, but I can't show them yet because they need to be A, finished, and B, um, sent out in post. Acrostic to ATCs. Mm. The 18th, and I've got a post out on the 20th. Mm. I know what I'm going to do in this evening. Um, okay, right, really excited. This is one of my Year of Whips pieces. This is number Year of Whip piece four finish, I think. Um, yeah, because the dragons were I counted them as um, three individuals. So this is my fourth Year of Whips finish. Um, Where's this? Is it K A B C Christmas? Love this. Um, this chart is got a new home to go to and I haven't been to the post office yet. I'm really sorry, Chantal. Sorry. Um, I'll insert a picture here of what it looked like when you saw it last. And here we are. It's all done. I posted on Instagram because I literally... I got... No, the wrong way. <laughs> I literally had half of the letter H and in oh wait in here see the darker I had those and half of the H to do and I ran out of that colour. It's the dark green, I think it's English ivy. I ran out. I was a bit annoyed. <laughs> but yeah, that's all done. I kind of probably could have done a bit better job with measuring out because I've got all that fabric space free. But yeah. Um, did some changing out. <clears throat> Bear with right if you can see so 
So, <clears throat> hopefully you can see. So, the box around the U of Unwrap is in the brown colour. But I didn't, I didn't want to do it in the brown. I wanted it to kind of match with all the others. Because all the others are just, it's four colours. So, I know why that was done. It's to kind of even it out. But I like to be different. So I changed that. But then I had to look at, obviously, the um, letters around all around it so that's what the chart looks like this is what mine looks like so I went with the blue for unwrap Oops. <clears throat> and then just had to obviously change it out but I like how it I like how it turned out so another finish Excited, excited. Um, right, okay, purchases. So I had to buy some thread to finish that one. Um, I also got the second part of the Farmhouse Christmas. I'm looking at it and I couldn't even say the words. Farmhouse Christmas. Um, so this is the horsing around on which you've all seen. I'm getting mine as an auto ship from Peakside Needleworks here in the UK. Um, and I'm going with the individual piece of fabric. So it's 40 count raw or natural. Um, I've not started any of those yet. Um, and then I also purchased some patterns. Um, so from this is from Sub Rosa. She's on Etsy. Hopefully, oh, hold on. That's a bit too dark. Good love heart. I thought that was really cute. Um, I'll leave the details down below. Uh, I also got this. This is also by the same shop. Sweet Rosie Pumpkin Hill. Really hope you can see that. So yeah. Um, I also, I said again, I've never tried anything other than um, cross stitch, but <clears throat> this is, somebody was talking about, um, oh, there we go, uh, somebody was talking about cruel work. And this is Cruel Embroidery. It's from a company called Flossbox. And they're also on Etsy. And it's a beehive. Isn't that cute? No idea how to do cruel, 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 cruel embroidery. I've no idea. Um, it'll be interesting. So, yes. Um... So there's my purchases over the last couple of weeks. So not too many, not too many. I'm trying to be good, I'm trying to stitch from stash, get everything finished. But yeah. Um, okay. So on to giveaway time. Thank you so so much, everybody who um took time to comment. Um, for watching, for subscribing, um, you guys all make it worthwhile, um, really means a lot to me. I think I'm at 230 
five subscribers now, which is absolutely amazing. Um, so, so yes, um, if you've just joined in, um, last week I announced, um, not last week, two weeks ago I announced um, that I wanted to celebrate reaching my milestone of 200 subscribers um, by doing a giveaway. Um, and so I asked people to tell me what their favourite designer was. Um, and I'm gonna, so I've kind of, I've written everybody down who entered um, for the giveaway. <clears throat> 13 people. Oops. Okay, written all down. So I'm gonna do number generator now. So 13 people. Okay, so hopefully you can see that. They've got one to thirteen. Okay. And that's number nine. And number nine is Lisa S. Stitches. Congratulations. So, um, get in touch with me. Um, you can do it via email. I'll leave my email address down below. Or um, Instagram message me, direct message me on Instagram, let me know um, which shop you would like a um, gift out for, uh, £20 on me, to say thank you, um, so just let me know um, where you would like to shop, and um, Lisa's comment was, it was really interesting actually to read everybody's sort of thoughts on um, designers, um, you know, there were so, so many uh, different designers out there. Um, it was absolutely amazing. Um, so, Lisa says her favourite designer is Hayde for huge designs. Um, and for smaller designs, Lizzie Hayde, as they're so simple but effective. And they are, they're just, they um, stitch up really, really quickly. Um, it's absolutely amazing. Um, I love, I love her. Um, patterns and it's really really sad that uh, they won't be designing anymore but um, it just means that I'll enjoy the ones I've stitched or the ones to stitch um, even more um, so yeah so well done Lisa um, so yeah just email me or um, message me via Facebook or um, Instagram probably Instagram or on um, Floss or YouTube um, private message me but probably the best easiest way is um, Instagram. So yes, so congratulations. Um, I told you this was going to be a short video. Uh, stitchy kindness, it's not really male, let's call it male. Um, I am in a, I'm in a couple of exchanges. Um, so the Cross Stitch ATCs group on Instagram, uh, which is International Exchange, and I've nearly finished my um my one for my recipient uh so i just need to finish that off and um, get that in the post in two days time um oh, what was I say? oh yeah so and then the other one is the it's cross stitch friends of the uk um, group on facebook and they do a monthly exchange um and they're they're different things so i started last Last month was the coaster, um, and the person I sent it to hasn't posted any pictures, so I can't share that with you. But I was really, um, like I said uh, last time, I was stupid and I didn't take pictures. But I'm gonna take pictures of stuff that I've um, done this time. So, um, yeah. So my uh, the person. The difference with the two sort of exchanges is um, with the cross stitch ATCs, everybody gets a different person, so you don't stitch for the same person who's stitching for you, if you see what I mean. Um, but with the cross stitch um, group on Facebook, you do. So um, you um, you stitch for a person and they stitch for you. So um, lady's name is Sue, and um, she's in the UK, obviously. Um, 
and so she was a bit delayed into sending her um, coaster because February was a coaster and it had to have a heart on it um, so she sent me, it arrived this last week and here it is and she actually designed this herself which was absolutely amazing um, and I forgot to bring a little card as well that she uh, cross stitched a little um, flower on which was really really sweet um, so thank, thank you so much Sue it's beautiful and it's gonna I think I'm gonna leave it in my craft room here um, it'll be quite cool so yes so that was um, stitchy kindness exchange type presents and I'm wrecking the joint now um, yeah I don't think I don't think there's anything else actually um, plans? I could talk about plans. Um, so I'm gonna get some more on the birth sampling done. Um, I think it's achievable. I could get it done by the end of April, maybe. Um, oh, one other thing, one thing I was gonna show you. So <clears throat> Hopefully I can show it next time, because um, it will be a finished, fully finished thing. It's not cross stitch, but it's inspired by Priscilla and Chelsea, because they've been showing their rag quilts. I've decided to make some. So, there it is. I'm not very good at <laughs> cutting straight, because, okay, I've got a rotary cutting. So this is one for fabric. Maybe it's me. User error. Can't get it to cut properly. It just it doesn't cut through fabric. I don't know if I'm not giving enough pressure um, when I'm cutting through the fabric. I don't know. But so I'm doing trusty scissors. So but I can't cut straight. But it's fine because it's going to be a red quilt. So it's all good. So this isn't straight at all. But these three. I'll show you the back in a second. So these three um, designs are going to be for, I'm going to do a little mini rag quilt for my nephew. Um, just so that he's got something in case he feels a bit left out um, for when the baby arrives. So I thought it would be quite nice. He can have his own little quilt thing. So when he's um, sat reading on the sofa or um, if he's watching a bit of TV or whatever, he can have a little quilt to himself. So these are the three patterns. And um, it's like a brushed cotton, lanolly cotton type thing. Um, so yeah. Found these on eBay and they were fat quarters. I don't actually know how big it's going to make the quilt, but um, we'll see. I might have to get some more. And then on the back of all of them, I've done this, which is like a real, it is like fleecy, sort of bobbly. It's gorgeous. Um, so they're all going to be the same on the back. Um, so I've started doing the quilting. Um, yeah. Do you know, it takes longer than you think to make a, um, a red quilt. I had three, three days off uh, last week. And thought, yeah, no problem. I'll get it done. Get it done in a day. <laughs> no. Um, and then, so I can't show the one that I've almost done so I've constructed it as a quilt and then I'm just in the process of um doing the rug rugging the edges to make it into a drag quilt um yeah I can't show that because it's <clears throat> quite big and it's a bit messy at the moment so but I will show it next time when it's all done completed but I am making another one and this is going to be a present so, and the, it's just three of the um, colours that I've gone with. So these were 
Moda is the fabric name. Hold on. This isn't this collection. This collection is not this, but so this is the one that I used for the one I've made um for me. Moda. Oops. Farmhouse Reds is the collection and it's the charm pack. So five inch squares. Um and it took two so the way I've done, the way I've constructed it, because it took, I want to do quite a big quilt, um, so it's taken almost two of these charm packs and there's 42, yeah, 42 squares in a charm pack. Um, so, but I thought it would, although they kind of go together, they coordinate. Um, I thought it might be a bit too busy, just, you know, whole big quilt with just all patterns on the front. So I've kind of, I've interspersed it with, um, oh yeah, this is, that's kind of one that you can see my sewing. <laughs> it's not great. I can't say straight but again it doesn't matter because it's going to be it's a red quilt and it kind of adds to the charm this is what I'm going with um so yeah so I've kind of interspersed the front with so these these were also a charm pack from um company Moda and just creams different shades of creams so I think it looks really really nice um and then on the back I've kind of done um I've done sort of these squares interspersed with um the same pattern so it's like a I think it's this colour but with like a red sort of vine sort of pattern um so yeah so that's that's mine and it's all constructed but that actually did take that took me three days three whole days um no not three whole days maybe two full days uh working on it um yeah took a long time so i underestimated is what i mean i underestimated how long it was going to take but yeah and then this so this is the one that's gonna be a present oops and I just so these are just some of the ones um, that I've done. Like I say, my stitching is not it's not straight. So I'm proposing to do the cross. Um, is it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just I'm not used to the doing opposite, but um, so yeah. So they're just some of the one that I've done for. Um, the present and then the back will be interspersed plain colours and like a taupe and beige stripe um, so that's what else I've been working on this week um, but having got a lot of fun doing it um, comes once you've kind of done all of the different parts I think that's the thing there's lots of different parts to obviously putting a quilt together um, and I'm not in the slightest bit uh, neat and tidy um, but that's why I did I did hours first um, it's kind of a bit of a trial run so that then by the time I've done the other two which are going to be presents then I'll be I'll be set um, but yeah, I had a lot of fun um, making that. Um, but it's, just, it's real hard work doing the cutting round each um, each of the squares. And I don't know if I would have been better to have done that beforehand rather than wait. But I didn't trust myself to kind of get my seams right. Um, 
we'll see. But yes, so I'll show you that next time. Um, once it's kind of all done and a bit more raggedy. So yes. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, short one today. Um, congratulations again to Lisa. Well done. Um, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for taking the time to leave a comment. I've got some catching up to do on comments, and I've got to leave some comments on um, some of the other people I've been watching um, the last week and a bit. Um, yeah, so thanks so much. I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Um, take care. Happy stitching. See you soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.